Hi, Kevin Conley, Applications Engineer with Ernest Machine Products. A common question we get here at Ernest is what is the width across the flat for a particular type of item? That question is important because you have to remember that when you're dealing with hex bolts or hex nuts, every diameter can, it has possibly be made with two different width across the flats. So knowing what the width across the flats is of the, the fastener will dictate of what style and what type of fastener it is. The width across the flat simply is a measurement from one side of the hex to the other. Width across the flats is important in telling you of what wrench size is needed to assemble it. This fastener here is a three quarter inch hex size, so it means it takes a three quarter inch wrench. A lot of people get confused as to what wrench size going that goes onto the fastener as to what the fastener size is. The fastener size, remember, is always dependent on what the thread diameter is. The thread diameter is measured in this bolt gauge, so knowing what the thread diameter tells you what the size it is. This is a half 20 fastener that takes a three quarter inch wrench to install it. The width across the flats can be easily measured by either using something as simple as a bolt gauge and measuring the distance from one flat to the other side, or you can get a little more complicated and use what's called a calipers to measure it exactly. Remember that different con configuration fasteners have different width across the flats to it, whether you're dealing with a hex head, a 12 point socket, a square head, or a flange screw. They'll all have different width across the flats for any given thread diameter. So knowing what the width across the flats can be very important. That question also comes up to us when people are maintaining equipment. If you pull the fastener out of a piece of equipment and you're not sure what style of fastener it is, Providing us with the width across the flats is something that will enable us to be able to identify that fastener so you'll be able to replace it with an exact duplicate of what you pulled out of there. Remember this information is available to you on our technical library on our website. Feel free to give us a call with any kind of questions you have. Send us an email. We want to be your fastener experts.